lifted up the minister for the interior to ask him uh, what exactly his answers would be to this claim being made by the minority. Honorable Henry Korte, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maru, and uh, a very good evening to you. And uh, a good evening to your cherished uh, listeners and viewers, and also those who are following and listening to us on social media. Great. Um, your colleagues in Parliament called a press conference today. They say that you have given 30 slots to all your parliamentary candidates, and I believe you would be one of them, uh, for recruitment into the police, immigration, and all these key services, and that it is a party foot soldier recruitment exercise you are conducting. I know you just went to the ministry, but what is the state of affairs? So thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, it's rather unfortunate that um, uh, members of parliament and, of course, uh, uh, a leader, a minority leader, and a former deputy minister of interior could, could actually spew this falsehood into the public. I say so because, Umaro, can we just do the calculation? Okay? So, so members of parliament currently are about 137, okay? If you multiply 30 by 137, how many people were approached by the clearance, okay? Because before you recruit, you have to have clearance for means of finance. Off the top of my head, when you multiply 137 by 30, you are around 4,400. It cannot be possible. It is not, and it cannot be possible. I'm rather disappointed in this approach. Now, yes, we are recruiting, but it is not a secret recruitment. What we are saying, we haven't even started. The agencies are going to send out the eligibility criteria. I'm sure by this week they will do that. What we are saying, rather, is that, look, in the last couple of years, people have gone to buy forms, okay? And for some reason, they could not gain... Uh, admission into the security intelligence agencies. So we thought it wise that, okay, we don't have to advertise anymore for people to continuously pay money, okay? Because uh, you have a certain number of people that pay the clearance you have to recruit. So, for instance, if you are to recruit, say, 1,500 into the prison service, and then you have 20,000 or 40,000 people go to buy the forms, we think that it is not fair on the public. So what we are saying is that those who have bought their forms previously are the ones who will be eligible for that matter to be considered depending on, you know, you go through a process and then they, are, they gain admission into uh, the security services. So the security agencies under the Ministry of Interior will issue a communicate out and then spell out the eligibility criteria but I want to say on authority, and I want to say again on authority, that giving 30 slots to parliamentary candidates or members of parliament is false. It is not true. It has never happened before. And I'm surprised that uh, okay. they want to go on this tangent. The reason, case, the reason for saying that, Minister, is that they say you have not advertised for new recruitments since they can remember, and that you always rely on this so-called backlog, which you keep using as an excuse for bringing your people in. When was the last time you published a recruitment uh, uh, application for well, people I'm, to go through? That's what, he, well, that's what they're saying. Well, the issue is, Omaru, they, will, they are the same people who continue to say that government is ripping people off because you advertise and then people apply and they cannot be considered into it. So government thought it wise that, look, we have a backlog. Can we clear the backlog? Of course, the the numbers that has been given up for clearance it's not it's not that much. When you have over two hundred thousand people over the last three four years who have applied to be considered into the security intelligence agencies, and for some reason either they are not shortlisted or something, it is only fair to clear the backlog. So if it will take three years, if it will take four years, with the greatest of respect to ensure that we have been able to deal with the backlog. I think that they should rather give us credit for that. Three years to four years, the persons would have been older than the age limit for entering into the service, no? Fine, but most of them, when they applied, they were still 22, 23, 24. That's what I'm saying. Eligibility criteria here matters. You know what I mean. But, uh, Umaru, how would you find it if today we'll go and advertise and say, okay, we are recruiting, and you have another two, three hundred thousand people, maybe more, 
will apply. And yes, we have a 1,000 or 1,005 who will be shortlisted. What service are we doing to the good people of this country? I don't think that is fair. So I was rather hoping that the minority will rather applaud us for this approach. Very well. Do we have a concrete figure on what the backlog for immigration is, the one for police? Do we have that readily available to share with our public? I have to consult with the agencies to give you that because we have to do a lot of uh, mathematics on that because, you see, quite a number of people would have applied, quite a number of them would have gained admission or rather entry into the security services and, and passed out. Uh, so that is something that I have to go back to the drawing board and get those figures. But you know what I mean? I get you. But um, um, we will, the agencies will be sending out a communique to indicate the eligibility criteria. And I know for sure that uh, top on the eligibility criteria will be those who have applied and for some reason have not been shortlisted for previous times. So they, they know what they do. They go into the system, they do A, B, C, D, then you say qualified. Those are the things we are looking for. And anyway. for, 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 for the records, we are not recruiting party people. The, the security intelligence agencies are, is there to serve the good people of this country. It is not there to, to do party work. So please. Very well. Uh, and my, my colleague, Atu Forsin and the Honorable uh, Gaga, are good friends of mine. But I think that this time they got it wrong. We are in an election year, and there's both of us passed the first publish, publication act. And this is clearly inciting the people against government. And I think that it is not fair for a leader of uh, pa pa parliament to do that. It's rather unfortunate. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. Thank you very much. That's the Honorable Minister for the Interior, Honorable Henry Corte. This